Welcome to NBK Chem. Today, I would like to introduce about electrochemiluminescence. ECL is a means of converting electrical energy into radiative energy. It involves the production of reactive intermediates from stable precursors at the surface of an electrode. These intermediates then react under a variety of conditions to form excited states that emit light. There are two general reaction mechanisms including annihilation ECL and coreactant ECL. About annihilation ECL The first detailed studies on ECL involved electron transfer reactions between an oxidized and a reduced species, both of which were generated at an electrode by alternate pulsing of the electrode potential. This approach is typically called annihilation. For example, ECL from RU, BPY, 32 plus was first reported in 1972 in acetonitrile, MCN, using tetrabutylammonium tetrafluoroborate, TBAF4, as the electrolyte. ECL was generated by alternate pulsing of an electrode potential to form oxidized RU, BPY, 33 plus and reduced RU, BPY, 3 plus. RU, BPY, 3 2 plus represents the excited molecule that emits light, and H nu is a photon of light. The excited state formed in this ECL reaction is similar to that formed during photo excitation. It is also possible to generate ECL in a single potential step using a coreactant. A coreactant is a species that, upon oxidation or reduction, produces an intermediate that can react with an ECL luminophore to produce excited states. Usually, this occurs upon bond cleavage of the coreactant to form strong oxidants or regicants. For example, ECL is produced upon concomitant oxidation of RU, BPY, 3, 2 plus and TPRA. Electrochemical studies of various aliphatic amines indicate a possible reaction pathway for the oxidation of TPRA. Upon oxidation, the short-lived TPRA radical cation, TPRA plus, is believed to lose a proton from an alpha carbon to form the strongly reducing intermediate TPRA. This radical can then reduce RU, BPY, 3, 3 plus to RU, BPY, 3, 2 plus. Recent work utilizing cyclic voltammetric simulations and SECM, ECL, and SECM minus ECL experiments on the RU, BPY, 3, 2 plus slash TPRA system indicates that TPRA plus may also play a role in the generation of ECL. The half-life of TPRA plus was estimated at 0.2 milliseconds, and direct evidence for the existence of the intermediate was found via flow cell electron spin resonance experiments. About the system used for electrochemical and ECL measurement. You can see here. ECL cell consisted of a glass cup, a silicon rubber plug with a gas inlet and a gas outlet, and a three-electrode system, a point wire, working electrode, we, a point wire counter electrode, CE, and an AG slash AGCL reference electrode, RE. The half part of the cup bottom below the counter electrode was covered with a light. Barrier to remove possible interfering light emitting from the counter electrode during the ECL measurements. Before measurements, the platinum wire working electrode and counter electrode were cleaned by ultrasonication. ECL spectrum measurements were carried on PMT detector combined with an electrochemical workstation. In general, ECL is used in sensing and imaging. In sensing application, many targets can be detected by ECL such as metal ions, DNA, small molecules. Besides that, the configuration of advanced ECL microscopes and corresponding two crucial application domains, single nanoparticle electrocatalysis and single cell analysis is paid attention to significantly. All of them, see you on next video. Thank you for your view.